Anyway, so I wanted to talk about my favorite Chinese, Japanese katana swords. <laughs> anyway, this message is not brought to you by Rogue Bat Squatch. But dude, if you like ale, man, I, I don't know. Give this a go. It's probably not for everybody. This stuff is so amazing. Okay, so when I bought this sword and this katana, I got a just a regular old black bag. I mean, I don't have one with me, just so to speak, but it was just one of the regular back bags. This isn't it, but there was one like this. It had like a little strap on it, whatever. So then I felt like it needed a gold bag. I got this on eBay. This came from, I mean, the bag came from China. This also came from China. The whole sword came from China. Okay, let's take the bag off. All right, it's, it's got like a, a nice scabbard here. I'm not going to know the, the Chinese names, so if you're going to go ahead and put them in the comments below if you care. If not, like whatever. So it's nice and glossy. Some like gold print. Kind of a gold uh, wrapping right here some gold things in there anyway um, it's got definitely some of it, it, it's got like what's called a battle wrap at least that's what I read about it's a battle wrap so you got like some wrapping and then it kind of stops it's got your you know your pieces in there I mean, this is a zinc alloy so I wouldn't trust it to hit a sword but honestly if you're gonna want to do some sort of fencing um, katanas are really not for you Katanas are designed to cut, and uh, anyway, that's besides the point. So it's got a nice dragon. These are dragons. It's got the gold. So it's got the gold. Um, you know, it's got the pegs. You know, and this is a sub two hundred dollar sword. I mean, you can find at different prices depending on how long you want to wait. Um, it's ten ninety five. There's no noise. It doesn't rattle. Anyway, it's got a, it fits in the hole. Anyway, so let's pull it out. Okay, so this isn't your traditional metal. You definitely, and I've got the oil all across the blade, so you're going to see that. It's sharp. All the way down. The groove goes all the way down, both sides. It's even, so this is 1095, and then the electro plated this golden color across the whole blade. They kind of shaped this for the peak. And this is, and then we've got a dragon on the blade. See if I can get that in my video. I'm going to roll it so maybe you can see the different light. It's my golden katana, which is why I got the bag. And the mystical dragon. I wouldn't be afraid to defend myself at all. So no, this is not a $2,000 katana. So you're not going to see, like... I don't know, it's definitely brass-like. Maybe it's not brass, I'm not sure. I'd have to grind on it to see. Later on, I might, it, you know, pull out these fixtures and put actual, like, brass ones in. We'll see. The wrapping... The wrapping is tight. You can find this on eBay. I wasn't sure what to think about it at first when I was like looking at it online because there really wasn't much to say. I wouldn't be afraid to defend myself with this at all. You can feel the metal. Like this metal is real. Um, and no, I don't think it's a, you know, an actual Japanese katana. I, I don't. But. I'm not a traditionalist. 
you know, I, I need something that's going to listen to me. Definitely, it's got a tapered blade, you know, and, and it comes down into the, the sheath beautifully. You know what I'm saying? Like this, these people took their time, they really did a good job. They really did. You know, and I think it's worth every penny of the money that I found. That I paid for it. It's kind of a beautiful katana. It's definitely got like a golden bronze look to it. Looks really neat in the sunshine. So we'll do some like cutting tests with it eventually. I'll bring it out. I'm just really busy in the middle of my life, so, and like I said, I'll eventually switch out these pieces and probably get something actual, like, steel, maybe painted with those gold colors, but overall, for the amount of money I spent, I mean, this is loose, I'm really happy. This is my favorite katana. Kind of got some sort of a samurai fighting a dragon on the bottom of the hand guard. And you got the dragon on top with the samurais. I imagine with the zinc alloy, not very strong. So if a sword hits that, I wouldn't trust your fingers to still be there. So I guess cut first. Read the five rings. Lead your opponent and cut first. Wow. Anyway. My golden katana.